guys welcome back to my channel so today I am back with this cool toned makeup tutorial you guys know that I am always giving you guys a lot of warm tone looks so I thought I'd switch it up and do a very cool toned look and this is what I came up with it's a very everyday appropriate I mean I didn't go all crazy I did go ahead and use my Urban Decay Vice 4 palette which I am absolutely in love with I think it's an amazing palette so so many shades that you can select from and you can create so many looks so I am definitely loving it and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this we got a lot of glow okay a lot of glow going on like my cheeks look super wet like I just dunked my face in water and came back up and I'm just glistening please don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next or just your thoughts and opinion on this channel and just to say hi you know I love talking to you guys and yeah if you want to see how I created this look then continue to watch and thank you so much for joining me on this channel bye Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with my Charged Water from MAC Cosmetics and this is just going to refreshen and awaken the skin. I really like this water for that. It's the same thing as the Smashbox Primer Water, so that's what I use it for. Now I'm going to use my Kat Von D Primer. This is the best primer if you want your makeup to last all day long. I love, love, love this primer. I like to concentrate that primer right on the jawline and right over here because this is where my foundation starts to fade. So I do it here and then with excess product I go on the forehead because the forehead is where my foundation lasts the longest. So yeah. For foundation today, I'm using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have mine in shade 8. I'm going to blend out my foundation with my Tarte um, brush. This brush is awesome. Ah! I dropped it. This brush is really good. It just like blends everything out so fast and seamless. It really makes everything look so airbrushed on your face. super fast for concealer I'm using my naked skin concealer from urban decay this is in medium dark warm you guys know I love this one. Oh my gosh it is bomb.com I love this concealer it's everything and to um, go ahead and blend that out, I'm going to be using this brush that I got from Crown Brushes. Um, I'll link down below the, the exact name or number of the brush, but it is bomb for concealer. It's this tiny little, kind of looks like a kabuki brush, but for your under eyes. I love it. So to set my concealer, I'm going in with my Shade Light palette from Kat Von D and I'm grabbing these two colors right here that I always use, which is Lyric and Lucid. And I'm just going to be using my Real Techniques, um, what is this, their contour brush, which I use for the under eye because I think that it is perfect for the under eye. I really don't like to contour with this brush. It's a little too harsh for me. To contour I'm also going to be using this palette and I'm going to be doing this color and then this color on top of it so I use the middle shade which is shadow play kind of like as a transition color because it has a little bit more warmth to it bringing that all the way to the forehead and here if you guys want a video on how a little bit more detailed on how I use this palette let me know but it's pretty straightforward and I'm using this crown brush it's just an angled brush they don't have numbers to some of their brushes which is a little annoying I got this like I'd say two years ago and it is going absolutely strong there's a tiny bit of shedding now but just very very small amount super soft blends product out beautifully so there and now I'm grabbing the deeper shade 
and I'm going to pinch the brush a little bit to be more precise and I'm just putting it right there right there tapping it a little bit here then I'm just going to blend that up a little bit so I'm just doing it with the edge of the brush blending it up and never down because the effect of lifting up the cheeks and creating more dimension to the cheeks is just gonna be like totally gone if you bring that down. For blush, I'm taking NARS Madly. Really like, love this blush. Like ugh, I've been using it so much. This is the Real Techniques blush brush. Just putting that on the apples of the cheeks and then kind of diffusing it and blending it into my contour. But it just gives me something, like a peachy toned something. Um, has little specks of um, sparkle in there. But on the cheeks, you don't really see it. You see more of a glow, not really sparkle. It's gorgeous. I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in Riviera. And this is a Morphe M. 495 fan brush it is humongous if you're not used to fan brushes I wouldn't advise getting a huge one like this because I normally don't use fan brushes and I had a hard time using this but now I got the hang of it so I'm gonna go ahead and use it I'm just going into my illuminator and this illuminator just creates a glow um, you do have to kind of really blend it out or in person you see a lot of the glitter particles, so I just like to kind of go back and forth with this brush and really blend that out. I'm gonna take that over here too, towards the tops of G brow. So from the Vice 4 palette, I'm taking this shade right here. This is called, uh, what is this called? Framed. And I'm just going to use that as my transition color all over the lids color. And this is my Sigma E40, my baby. Love this brush. So I'm just placing that color basically all over the lids, all the way to the brow bone. Just to add a little bit more definition. Now I'm going to take the color Bitter right over here. And I am just going to put a little bit, because I don't want this to be too warm, just in the crease on the outer corner for the most part, and then dragging it in when I don't have too much product on my brush. So I'm doing circular motions on the outer corner and then dragging it in like so but I'm really putting that brush into the crease area now I'm going to take the color bitter right over here and I am just going to put a little bit because I don't want this to be too warm just in the crease on the outer corner for the most part and then dragging it in when I don't have too much product on my brush so I'm doing circular motions on the outer corner and then dragging it in like so. But I'm really putting that brush into the crease area. Now I'm taking this Crown um, Deluxe Blending Crease Brush. This is the SSO27. Um, another new brush that I'm using for the first time today and I really wanted to see how it works. I'm taking the color Delete, which is a... Um, dark brown kind of cool toned actually not too warm and I'm just gonna place that right at the crease area oh I like that brush already very precise this um, color is very pigmented like I always put way too much than I expected so I'm just putting that at the crease and then dragging it all the way in now I'm going to go ahead and take the color Bones right over here and just with my fingers, you guys know I love using my fingers for lid shades. I'm going to apply it all over the lids 
from the inner corner all the way to the outer part of my eyelids. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this color right here. It's a silvery color. This is called Robbery. And I'm gonna place that on top of that color. But I'm leaving the inner corner of my eyes with that brighter color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the color um, right here called Delete, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the bottom lash line. I'm not gonna smoke it out too much. I'm just gonna put a little bit, just to connect it to the outer corners of my eyes. Then I'm taking this pencil from L'Oreal. This is the eyeliner pencil, and this is in black. It's so, it looks like this. It's super smooth on the eyes, it doesn't tag at all on my eyes. Really, really nice intense black and I'm putting that on the waterline. I'm gonna take that brush again and I'm just gonna smudge a little bit of that on the lash line. I'm gonna be using my um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is like the, um, oh my God, I just put a dent in my eyeshadow. <laughs> so yeah, this is the little um, sample or deluxe sample size that I got at Sephora. And these are really like intense mascara. It really thickens up the lashes and makes them super dramatic. I love this mascara. Sorry guys, my face is wet because I just <laughs> sprayed some Fix Plus and I applied my lipstick, which my camera was not recording, I apologize. This is Gerard Cosmetics Iced Mocha and it looks like this. 